Assalamu alaikum everyone and today we are going to be talking about relative motion and inertial reference frames. So in our previous video about kinematics we discussed about the kinematic equations and how they can be used in horizontal, vertical and projectile motion. However these equations have a lot of like that specific speed for example let me give you an example of projectile motion I have this pen again pen, um, and I throw this that pen well it has specific speed a specific horizontal speed and of a specific vertical speed and these velocities can be used to understand where it will land how how much will it for how long will it stay in the air and etc however we don't really have an exact value like that went at that exact speed for example let me give an example let's just say imagine a person is running okay he is running at a specific velocity however the earth is move he is running on the earth's surface which is rotating at 1700 kilometers per hour and that earth is also revolving around the sun at nearly 30 kilometers per second the sun is moving through the milky way at 20 kilometers per second and the milky way is moving from 300 to 600 kilometers per second i didn't find an exact value in my sources you can check it if you so can we say that this man actually traveled 600 kilometers for every second that he ran well of course not that would be absurd to even claim because because he is not putting that that speed he's not moving you can explain this in so many ways but you can also disprove it in so many ways that's why uh, in physics we don't talk about absolute velocity we always talk about a relative motion as in motion relative to a surface and that surface should be still according to your perception so for example the man is say running at this speed then we can we can imagine that speed if the earth is still okay the earth is absolutely still however let's use a different example I am in the street and this car passes by this car is to me at least going at this speed however if you're in the car and you're moving at a constant speed it feels like the earth is moving towards you at the speed that comes in your speed meter however that's not the case for a, an outside observer so point where you observe is your point of view let me show you another example say i'm in the street and i'm throwing this object up and it's coming back to my hand for me this object traveled a straight path however let's teleport to the car for a second in the car due to the fact that the car is moving though i can see it in a parabolic path and this would be true if the person was actually in the car throwing the ball this would be a better in a truck and a bison and an observer is looking at the vehicle this is relative motion motion relative to your point of view considering if an object is still that's called an inertial reference frame so if so as an outside observer looking at a car the earth is the inertial reference frame because we pretend the earth is not moving the car is in the car no the car is the inertial reference frame because we pretend the earth is moving but the car is not 
And this is where we come to the Galilean principle of relativity. All laws of physics are the same on every single inertial reference frame. This means that the kinematic equation works for every single inertial reference frame. How? Well, in that car, I can observe the ball going through a parabolic path and I can make calculations. And those calculations would be done under the same kinematic equations. And the same would happen as an observer outside looking at a car when I'm making those calculations. It's the same law. Now, have you noticed something? Inertial reference frames has the word inertial in it. And this is supposed to mean a non-accelerating reference. That's the point. Inertial reference frames don't accelerate. The Earth suddenly just doesn't change its rotating speed from 1700 kilometers per hour to say 2000 kilometers per hour that would be catastrophic and same if the earth was revolving faster that would make a year much shorter than it actually is or if the sun is moving far into the milky way at a higher speed than it is or if the milky way is moving far these don't accelerate they're in the same speed they're in constant speed however if you're in an accelerating car you can feel a force that's pushing towards you and the same thing if a car takes a sharp turn you feel like you're getting pushed to the door to the opposite side of the turn so anyway um, that's all there's to it thank you for watching and i will see you next time Bye.